4 Healthy Toilet Habits You can start today Every day we use the toilet without much thinking. We bring along our bad habits with our toilet visits. Some people like to have long chats over the phone in the cubicle, while some people like to make their toilet visits start and end all in less than 10 seconds. We could become more considerate washroom users and be more mindful of your own washroom behavior to cultivate a pleasant and positive washroom environment for all. Here are some healthy toilet habits you can start to adopt today. Don't bring the phones inside. Texts, emails, calls and games, surely all these do not demand attention from you while you spend that mere one minute away from the desk. When you bring your phone inside to the toilet, you are not only less mindful of what's happening around you, you also risk contaminating the phone with lots of germs and bacteria. People who play games on their mobile phones hog the toilet cubicle for a long time, making it inconsiderate or other users who are in urgent need. And when you are less mindful of your surroundings, a wet floor may just pose a certain risk for a slip and fall if you are preoccupied on the phone and become careless with the slippery surface. Leave those phones behind and make your toilet trip with a peace of mind. Don't be in a rush to start and finish. A washroom is often a high-traffic hotspot with people coming in and out, desperate to start and finish their toilet business as quickly as possible. There are many people who run and barge into the washroom unexpectedly. This is especially dangerous when there are young kids standing behind the door, they could be hurt. Being in a rush means you would also be doing your business in a haste, in the long term, which could be unhealthy for the body. And when you are in a great hurry, it is quite likely you cannot be bothered on cleaning up after the mess. With such bad toilet habits, do you know who is going to help clean up after you? Click here to find out more in cleaning up after you, bad toilet habits. Looking after your own personal hygiene appears to be a basic manner yet it could be not so common among some individuals when they do not care to clean up the toilet seat cover they have deliberately stained, and disposing of their waste inappropriately. A used sanitary napkin should not end up in the common waste paper bin outside, but should be disposed of carefully in the correct feminine hygiene unit. Don't squat on the toilet seat. While squatting on the toilet seat may seem like a more frequent thing you would see happening in the past, you would be surprised to still see some cases today. Squatting on the toilet seat or on the toilet seat cover not only make the whole place seems dirty, it greatly inconveniences for the next user. You may risk injuring yourself should you fall off while squatting dangerously over it. Solution: Use a toilet seat cleaner to sanitize before use. Initial toilet seat cleaner provides washroom users the extra level of assurance and confidence when using public facilities. Wash your hands with soap, dry them before heading out. Nowadays it is quite uncommon to find someone heading straight out of the washroom and not washing their hands after use. If you do not wash your hands, you should be aware that you are capable of spreading diarrheal diseases, infections and viruses once you stepped out of the washroom back to your workstation. While most of the users these days do wash their hands after visiting the toilet, yet most of them do not use the hand soap. Washing your hands with soap is equally important to kill off germs and bacteria your hands would have been contaminated with from the various bacteria hotspots such as the cubicle door handle and toilet bowl flush handle button. And if you do not want your hand washing efforts to come to waste for nothing, dry wet hands thoroughly before heading out. This is because wet hands are able to pick up germs again with these damp hands spreading 1000 times more bacteria than dry hands.